The Cardinals have not gotten off to a great start this season. They split a four game series at home against the Pirates in the first game. They got shut out five to zero. But I want to focus on this second game where it took a while for the bats to come alive. But the Cardinals defense was absolutely incredible and kept them in the game. There were some serious web gems in this game, and I'm going to show you all of them. Let's get right into it. Jake Woodford's on the bump for the Cardinals. Jiwon Bay leads it off for the Pirates. One, two count inside breaking ball comes in and the umpire says it hit Bay. But if you look at the replay, it definitely did not hit him. Only dirt, no shoe, nothing, maybe a shoelace. They actually review it and confirm the call that it hit him. And I have no idea how with the replay we saw. Ali Marmol is in disbelief. He doesn't even argue the call. He just sits there wide eyed. But this is where I would say ball don't lie because Brian Reynolds grounds into a ready-made double play and that kills the inning for the Pirates. Top of the second, Woodford gets into a little bit of trouble. He walks the bases loaded and Austin Hedges is coming up to bat. He hits a little chopper to third base and Nolan Arenado makes such a smart play here. He times it perfectly so he fields the ball right next to third base. He steps on it for the out and whips it over to first and Goldschmidt makes an incredible stretch, completely laying out. Somehow he keeps his foot on the base and that's one of the best double plays you're ever going to see. Two MVP candidates, Goldie won it last year, but Arenado was right up there. I mean, that was just awesome. Top of the fourth. Woodford's still on the mound. The Pirates have a runner in scoring position and Mark Mathias is up to bat. He hits a nice opposite field single and the Pirates are sending the runner home. But Alec Burleson comes up throwing. It's an absolute dart right on the money. Wilson Contreras plays it off the hop, secures it, makes the tag. And that's a great play that just saved a run for the Cardinals and ends the fourth inning. Top of the fifth. It's still tied 0-0. But the Pirates have a runner on third when Andrew McCutcheon smokes the ball to left. But Tyler O'Neill gets a beat on it. He jumps and he sticks the landing. That looked like it hurt. But fortunately, Tyler's okay. And I don't think anybody's questioning his hustle on this play. That catch saves another run and ends the fifth inning for the Pirates. The combination of Nolan Arenado and Nolan Gorman finally ends the Cardinals 16 inning scoreless streak. Listen in on the Cardinals broadcast call and Jack Sawinski getting completely roasted. Swing shot right center field. That ball is down for a base. Hit. Nolan around third. Here comes the throw. It is terrible. <laughs> okay, moving on to the eighth inning. Andrew McCutcheon is up again. He's already had extra bases and an RBI taken from him by Tyler O'Neill, but Tommy Edmond wants his lunch money too. This play in the gap is an actual robbery in broad daylight, and it may be the final nail in the coffin for the Pirates. This isn't a John Boy video, and I don't read lips, but I think it's fair to say Miles Michaelis was a big fan of this play. In the bottom of the eighth, the Cardinals get a couple of insurance runs to make the score 3-0. to zero. Wilson Contreras breaks his 0-for-22 slump, and Nolan Gorman gets another RBI. Giovanni Gallegos comes in to close out the game in the ninth, and he gets the job done. The Cardinals get the win at home, and it was defense that made the difference.